Hey, Chris Fischer at Summer X Games 12 in Los Angeles, California. Let's take a look behind the scenes at the audio operation. I'm standing outside ESPN's new high definition mobile truck SS25, which will be used for Monday Night Football. Let's go inside and take a look at the new 5.1 surround sound controller. One of the important things was that we had a good sized room, so you got proper monitoring space and uh, workspace as well. They go hand in hand, obviously, when you're on the road, and uh, any working environment needs to sound good and be function functional. So, what we did is built this big room, and uh, as we walk around here, we, we're coming in the room, we got a total workspace back here where uh, any number of projects can go on, we can stage, people can sit here with computers, people can sit here with gear, and of course, the business end up here in the front is where the mixer sits. Mark's sitting here uh, prepping up for Moto. And uh, he's, he's working on a latest series of uh, Alpha Bluefin and a uh, really great console. Of course, we complement it with our full set of blue skies. We've even gone as far as to use PFLs uh, with full range capacity so we can solo PFL uh, and uh, QC inputs before we put them on the air. If we think we hear something, take it off the air in place solo or pre frame listen, uh, full bass management control. Uh, as you can see, what's really cool about this truck, and besides the size, is this overbridge generally has a lot of processing gear in it. Well, what we did is we put monitors up here because the show that uh, this truck would do, and it's a Monday Night Football truck, we're doing a lot of major, uh, a lot of major events, including this Moto event at X. Uh, the mixer's got to see a lot of what's going on. So we populated the overbridge with video monitors. We went recording studio style and took um, processing gear and put it behind the mixer. Uh, that's always proven to work well in studios and you know traditionally last us been in the overbridge for, uh, for for TV broadcasters but because of the size of the room there weren't patch base right behind them. We put the patch base to the size side here which gave us this workspace area and the face of it to house all our traditional plus a lot of extras in processing gear, um, again, limiters, delays, surround gear, and so forth. Um, extra inputs, and, uh, communications and routers right within Mark's reach here on the right here. Um, that actually rolls to his uh, desired location. Everybody kind of likes their exact sweet spot in the room. And this room, sonically, I gotta say, gave us the opportunity to finally put together a room that can actually, I'd make a record in this room. Right now, we're doing some executions. Um, they added a whole bunch of graphics to us at the last minute, and we are going to sound design to the graphics. How you doing guys? My name is Ryan Gula, and I'm going to step by step show you how to do a war there. As you come in, try and get a couple of pedals early. Crank up the war We've already done the, the Nats and the music um, and how they've done graphics treatment. We need to sweeten those up with some sound effects. That should take us anywhere from five minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how much time they give us. Usually it's closer to the five minutes. <laughs> 